guys, what's up? So today I'm going to film a monthly favorites kind of video. You know how me, you know how me, you know how I do and I don't post regular like month to month favorite videos but once in a while I do post some of my favorites because I don't try stuff every month like that's kind of expensive you know for some like regular people like you, you know like you and me. We don't try out stuff every month or we can't afford to so Yes, what I'm gonna do today, so I'm gonna show you guys my favorites for the past few months that I haven't done one. I think I only did one in January, I think. So a lot has happened from then to now. I have all my favorites in this little basket right here, which I got at the Target dollar spot, which has some of my favorites in here, so you can you know take a peek. Sneak peek here. So they're mainly almost all skincare related stuff so yeah so let's just get right to it the first thing I have in my little basket here is the new Garnier whole blends refreshing shampoo I got mine in the scent green apple and Greek tea this smells amazing first of all um, so yeah it smells amazing and it just leaves my hair feeling clean like seriously it just smells I like I love the smell the whole thing about it I love the smell like I'm freaking done with this thing like it's already down to here that can only like make me have another wash with this for my hair so I like to use a lot of shampoo it might be bad but I like to use a lot of shampoo so yeah I got this and I I've, I've been loving it so so far so good I want to try the other scents so maybe I'll try them out sooner or later but for now this one has been my favorite scent out of all of them I do love the coconut one I think they have a coconut smell and I love me some coconut smelling stuff next thing I have been loving is the Soap and Glory Clean On Me um, Creamy Moisture Shower Gel oh my gosh this has been my favorite shower gel Ever. like I stopped using my Bath and Body Works shower gels because they have been making my skin irritated like I don't know what I have but in the between like right here by my um, elbow wherever it like creases you know I get like these bumps I don't know it kind of makes my skin feel irritated and I get like like this rash kind of thing I don't know it's kind of weird I've had it for a long time but I guess it's because I've been using like really scented um, shower gel so I stopped using that this one has a scent yes but it's not as like I don't know it just didn't irritate my skin as much as the Bath and Body Works so I've stopped using those I have a whole bunch of them left but I'll probably give them to my mom I don't know so yeah I've been using this and I'm I'm finished with it I actually bought the bigger version of this at Ulta and it was on sale the other day and the lady at the counter was like girl I love the sham this uh, shower gel is my favorite you should try out this body lotion and all that I was like girl Yes, so yeah, long story short, I love this, smells really good. Um, well, at first, I didn't really like the scent, if I'm being completely honest. I didn't really like the scent, but now I've grown used to it. So I think they have another scent, I think it's like lime something. Um, I gave it a sniff, I didn't really mind it, but I kind of like this one better. So yeah, I love this, and I'm pretty much done with it. Oh. It was in the shower, so yeah, I'm pretty much done with it. And Soap and Glory did send this to me, so on my birthday, they sent me like this packet, and I've been loving everything they sent me. So thank you, Soap and Glory. So yeah, I've been loving this, and you should give it a sniff and you should give it a try. So next thing I've been loving is this First Aid Beauty face cleanser. I've had this in my collection for like a while now, um, but recently my skin has been—I don't know—it's been really like breaking out all of a sudden like I've had breakouts all over my face which has been like the worst I've broken out in a while I've had some on my forehead some on my cheek and it's just my chin it's like been everywhere it's kind of crazy I've never broken out like that before but it's kind of like settling down now um so yeah uh, I owe it all to this and the next product I will be showing so I've been using this with a little scrubber like a silicone scrubber um thingy um instead of my hands because I don't know I feel like the silicone thingy um cleans my face better I put this in the shower and I clean my face in the shower yeah so I clean my face in the shower I have this in my shower uh, but yeah it like, removes everything on my face my face feels so clean and yeah it, it's the it's so good I, I have the little trial version of it because I didn't know I was gonna like it or not but I, I really do love it so the next thing I've been loving is the derma e purifying two-in-one charcoal mask oh my goodness this has been my favorite 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 charcoal mask in a long time because this is freaking amazing now they did send me this for free to try it and at first I was like oh yeah I love it but now I've been using it so much that it's crazy yeah, this is my second bottle of this and I'm almost done with them so yeah I saw how much this this is worth at Ulta it's like 20 18 to 20 dollars I believe 
Uh, that's freaking crazy. So my face has been clearing up because of this and the other, like, this other cleanser. In, com in combination with these two, my, sk my skin has been, like, getting better. So it's a purifying 2-in-1 charcoal mask with marine, algae, and activated charcoal. Mask facial, it purges pores of deeply rooted toxins. So all of that is what it does, and it's freaking amazing. Like, I can't say enough good things about this. This is, like, my favorite. And I'll probably repurchase this when I'm done with it because this is my second bottle of this that I've gone through and it's amazing. The next thing I've been loving is this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Ever since I got this from that beauty con event I went to, I have been loving this and I don't know if it's this or something else I've been using in my beauty regimen. My eyelashes look bomb.com. Like seriously, like they have been so full and so voluminous. Like without mascara, without anything with mascara, it's like a whole nother level. Like it is amazing. I don't know if it's this because this is what I've been using around my eyes and stuff. And this is the only thing I've been putting around my eyes. So unless it's this with the combination of my makeup remover because it has oil in it. I don't know. It's something in there that I've been using that has been like doing crazy miracle things to my eyelashes. It's amazing. But yeah, I've been using this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado, and with avocado, you know it's gonna be like greenish, yellowish, so this is amazing. It moisturizes my eyes. I've been putting this on at night so it can like rejuvenate my area, so yeah. So I've been using this and I've been loving it. Enough said. Right, so the next thing I've been loving is this Pores No More by Dr. Brent. I've never tried anything from this brand before, but I believe I got this in a beauty subscription box I had or something. I don't know where I got this, but this is awesome. Like, this really does, I don't know, it's like, I've tried other primers before, like silicone base, but this is like, I don't know, it's really weird. Uh, it's kind of like a foundation. It has a little tint of color, but you don't see it on your face. It oxidizes it to your face tone. So yeah, it really makes your face really smooth for an even application for with you put on when you put on your makeup. That's what I like about it, and I probably will purchase the full size of this because this is my favorite primer right now. Next item is a mascara. I'm gonna be real sad when this mascara runs out or dries out because this has been my favorite mascara. Ooh, for a while now and it is the Lancome Hypnos Drama. Oh my goodness. This mascara has been so amazing to my eyelashes. Yeah, it makes my eyelashes look so amazing. Um, yeah, it volumizes, it separates, it lengthens, like, it's amazing. I've never, like, I've always wanted to try this mascara and then when Lancome sent this to me, like with some other few things, I was hooked. I'm gonna real sad when I have to repurchase this mascara because this ain't cheap in mascara, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been using this every day and I, I love it. I love it. Another makeup item I have been loving, it is the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. I love Tarte products in general. I love that they don't test on animals and they are so amazing in quality and everything. I love Tarte products, so when I when my bestie said that she was gonna get this at uh, what you call BeautyCon, I had to get my one myself, and I have been using this. I actually am using this on my eyes today. I'm using a couple colors on here on my eyes. I am using. Sweetheart, Rebel, Leader, and Flower Child, and also Firecracker. I'm using a couple of these, um, what you call it, eyeshadows, and they're amazing. They're so soft, they blend out so easily, and the overall packaging of it, like, come on now. Last beauty-related items are some brushes. I have been meaning to talk about these brushes for a while now, and I just forgot last time I showed my beauty-related, beauty, beauty favorites video in January. I've had these for a while, so... Yeah. What are these brushes? They are the dupe version of the Real Techniques Metal Collection, something, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, I got these off of eBay, and I only paid around $7 for a set of these, and you know how much these brushes are, you know, the real ones, um, at Ulta, they cost around, like, $20, like, per brush, around $20 per brush, so when I had, when I saw these on eBay, and they're less than, you know, 10 bucks. I had to get myself some of those. So they're super soft. They blend out makeup seamlessly. I use these pretty much every day and I can't get enough of them. And they're just freaking amazing. Like you get the rose gold ones, the gold ones, the silver ones. I believe there's another one. I don't know where it is, but 
you get the whole set for less than $10. I will leave the link down below if I can find it again, but you can pretty much search makeup brushes, metal brushes, something like that on eBay, and you can come across some of these. Some of They might be even cheaper now, I don't know. It's been a while since I purchased these, so yeah, they're super, super soft, and I, I love these brushes. If I can get a cheaper version of a brush, then I don't have to pay full price. I'm gonna do it so yeah got these brushes and they have the RT like some of the brushes have the RT like real techniques I don't know but they're really light so you know they're not the real thing so they're really light but they look cool in your brush collection because they're metal so yeah I got these brushes and I've been loving them ever since I got them so if I find the link I'll leave it down below for you guys if you want to check it out so yeah and another brush I have been loving I purchased this a couple months ago maybe even less than a month ago so I was shopping with my bestie and I came across this brush and I've been wanting to try some of these new e.l.f. brushes that came out. So I finally got my set my, my sands. I finally got my hands on one of them. And they are a bit on the pricey side from e.l.f. I don't know. E.l.f. products have been going up in prices. Have you noticed that? I've noticed that. So yeah, it's an e.l.f. brush. I don't remember the name of it, but it looks like this. It's like a round top brush and it's so soft I use this to apply my powder foundation and to blend it out it's so soft I can't get enough of this brush this is every, use this every day and it's amazing it's six dollars though just to warn you guys it's a six dollar brush from elf that's what I'm saying like the prices have been going up but anyways it's a really nice brush I want to try some of the other new brushes that they came out with um, but yeah I've been loving this brush so far so good it hasn't shed it on me and it's really soft and it blends out makeup so good so love this brush last few things I have been loving are some tools that to clean my brushes so I got this I got one of them like so long ago I've been using it so so much but then I found this other one that I was like I need to get that because it's kind of better to clean your brushes I don't know anyways I saw this egg thing it's called the brush egg now it's kind of weird like you put your fingers in here and you like it looks like this you put your fingers in here and you like swirl your brush on here it cleans it it's kind of like that Sigma brush glove thing that they came up with it's really expensive so I wasn't about to pay that and this has been working really good for me so they come in several colors I, oh, I got these products on eBay I'm on eBay all the time I seriously have a lot of things that I should be showing you guys and like hauls that I got from eBay but just haven't got around to doing it so yeah got this egg on eBay it was like less than two bucks I think um, but yeah it's been working out so nice uh, but I wanted a bigger version of like something like this so I got this one it's like a flat spongy like it has a little thing that you can put your fingers in it does like grab onto stuff so it's like um, it's like a suction cup thing so yeah I got this I got the white version because um, the other color I wanted to see like you know how you clean your brushes and you want to see like the water coming out clean at least I do because then you know your brush is clean so yeah I got the white version and it has like little I don't know like beads kind of like silicone things it has like swirly ones over here it has a like dots over here on the, on the top of it and it's just really cute and it's really handy like this is like bigger version of this kind of really it's like a flat version of this so yeah I got this and I've been loving these to clean my brushes so if I find the link I probably will it's probably my recently purchased items it's, at least this one is like I recently got this not recently but you know what I mean um, so yeah I put the link down below so you guys can check that out if you don't want to dish out the money to pay for one of those brush glove thingies cleaning blush brush gloves I know I wasn't. Now let's get on to my non-beauty related uh, favorites. So I want to tell you guys some of the shows I've been loving recently because it's been a while since I told you guys some of the shows I've been watching and all the shows I've been watching are pretty much on Netflix because yeah. So first things first I have been I'm all caught up on um, how to get away with murder. Oh my gosh so good like seriously so good. Love that show. I hope they come back for another season. I think they are. I don't know but Love that show. I'm all caught up on it. If you don't know what it's about, it's like a... It, the title says it all. How to get away with murder. So, if you're really into like murder solving mystery kind of shows, you should watch it. Yeah. Next show I've been watching, I know they came out with another season. Um, it recently came out. Is Unbreakable. Um, they alive, damn it. It's a miracle. Unbreakable. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's a really... like the. I, Okay, so the second season, I wasn't really digging it. I recently finished it. I wasn't really all that into it. Uh, but the first season was way better than the second season. So if you want to watch it, watch the first season. If you want to watch the second season, I mean, 
go ahead. It's not really all that good, but that's just my opinion. So, yeah, it's called Unbreakable, uh, Kimmy Schmidt or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's on Netflix, so if you don't have a Netflix, get on it. Um, I believe that's all the shows I've been watching on Netflix. Yeah, there's only two shows I've been watching on Netflix. I haven't really been watching Real TV. I don't watch Real TV. Does anybody watch Real TV anymore? I don't. Like, I just watch Netflix. Like, if the whole season is on Netflix, I will binge watch that. So, yeah. Um, next thing are my, uh, music favorites. Like, seriously, my music favorite. Another show I've been watching and addicted to. Uh, I got addicted to it on the first season. I didn't know it was out on TV because I don't watch TV. I don't really ha I don't have cable, so... That's the truth. I don't have cable, so I wait for everything to come out on Netflix. So it's called Young and Hungry, and the main character's name on there is Gabby. So I'm like, oh, they're using my name. Like, I don't know, I feel kind of giddy. I don't know. They're using my name. So yeah, anyways, it's called Young and Hungry, and if you haven't watched it, it's a really funny show, and yeah, you should really watch it. It's, it's a comedy show, and a love show, kind of, I don't know. If you would like love comedy shows, you're gonna love this show. Um, I recently finished season three, so yeah. Okay, so the first song I've been loving, I recently heard it on the radio and my bestie had to tell me it was Rihanna and Calvin Harris, which it does not sound like Rihanna whatsoever. I still can't believe it's her, but it sounds, well, the song is called This Is What You Came For by Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. If you haven't heard it before, it's on the radio, like, constantly now, but yeah, if you haven't heard it before, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> That when the beat drops, it gets way better because you know how Calvin Harris does. Yeah, so that's the first song I've been loving. Next song I've been loving is Duele el Corazon by Enrique Iglesias featuring Wincin. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this song. I kind of snapchatted on uh, when I first heard it, like when I first heard it on the radio. I was like, I am digging this song, but it, yeah, it sounds like this if you haven't heard it before. <laughs> But yeah, it sounds like that. If you haven't heard it before, and where have you been? Like, seriously, if you love Enrique Iglesias, which, by the way, he does not age at all. Like, what is his secret? Like, seriously, he doesn't age at all. He's still hot, as always. So, yeah, you should probably go check that out if you like, you know, music that you can move your body to. So, yeah, that's a song I've been loving. Okay, so another song I have been loving, which... I didn't know playing skills came back into like music business like have they been in like producing music? I don't know like it's been a while like playing skills was like one of my favorite well kind of like I don't know I listened to their music back in the 90s like seriously when did they come back when I heard this on the radio I was like whoa dang when did playing skills come back? Yeah, their song is called Not a Crime, No Es Ilegal, Spanish version. Well, I haven't heard the English version, so yeah, by Plain Skills. So yeah, it sounds like this. So yeah, it sounds like that. I love it. I don't know. I haven't really listened to the lyrics, but you know, the song, I love it. So yeah, anyways, those are the songs I have been recently loving. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my favorites, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a lovely comment down below. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.